Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moons Tarot here, back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for those who have already subscribed and those who are um, just new to my channel. All is welcome. And um, please subscribe, subscribe. So whatever message that you get, if it didn't resonate for you, it may resonate for somebody else out there. Um, sharing is caring, you know? Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Um, you know, it's it's going. Um, but yeah. I'm waiting for the weekend. We got what? Two more days to the weekend. Oh, okay. Alright. Aquarius, this is your season. You coming in full force. Two cards already laid out. We need one more. One more. One more. One more universe. Please and thank you. Mm. Sometimes when it does that, I just gotta pull one out. That's just about it. Simple. <clears throat> oh, well, okay, thank you. It was a lot, but I'll take the first one. How about we take these? Let's make it, you know. All right, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay? And for soulmate, in reverse, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay? So it's kind of ironic off the bat that at the end of, of that um, spread, for it to be um, a card in reverse and then for it to be your soul, a soulmate in reverse. So what I'm feeling... Um, from this, from these cards is that most of you Aquarius are stuck at this moment, um, where you guys are not understanding which path you should take. You have this person that you're involved with that you want to see a future with, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, however... You're realizing that it's becoming a stalemate. Okay? And in order for you guys to ignite the passion, you both have to be willing to fight for this. Okay? It's not a one-way street. Okay? Sometimes we get ahead of ourselves because there's one person that's that feels so strongly about pursuing the relationship while the other person is still stuck on should I even try anymore, okay? Um, and I'm talking for those who's already been in a relationship. Um, this is not giving me single um, vibes at this moment. Um, I'm not getting that at all. Um, I'm feeling that someone is heavily drinking or um, smoking a lot to cope with what's going on because he or she is is basically their masculinity and femininity is basically being tested at the moment where they're not feeling sure that they can actually make this relationship something anymore you know and this person could be a twin flame but it's not your soulmate okay and um i could go in on what twin flame is and what soulmate is um however because you will get soulmates a lot of soulmates in your lifetime okay it's a bond it's a connection that you guys have and when it comes to twin flames it's someone that you're connected with instantly you share uh, you share life with each other you learn things from one another however you guys so at times part ways without even understanding and knowing where did it go where did it go wrong okay um, and I feel like you both, um, and take it how it resonates, please leave what doesn't. 
I feel most of you Aquarius and cross watchers are, are very much welcome. Flip it how you guys want it. If it's not the Aquarius or it's the Aquarius, um, it's feeling that they've been showing. They've been trying to give them their all and the way they their views are on how a relationship is supposed to be, the other person does not see it that way. Because there's lack of communication, lack of understanding. Okay, but you guys have to set foot on what y'all actually really want. Is this something that you really believe you want to pursue? Nothing is set in stone. We could have this as the overall energy for right now. This can potentially not be your soulmate right now, but but you never know what you can do in your path that will align you with that person. Okay, in the long run. So it's up to you, Aquarius, what you really want to do, okay? What is it that you want to do? Do you want to give this your all? Do you feel like this is a person that you want to pursue? If not, you have, if not, the universe will make that decision for you. And some people like to stand still, and then and until standing still is no longer that option anymore. It's no longer that option anymore. And if you want to put passion or bring passion into this relationship, bring it. Whatever it is you feel and you believe in that you can that you can bring into the table, but it takes two. It takes two people to fight for this. Okay? It takes two people, or you guys are will be stuck in that energy of 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 um not pro like not being with your person because of the fact that you guys are not finding a common ground and trying to work things out where you guys know y'all need to put passion put love into this relationship or it will fade you guys can no longer stand still anymore you guys can no longer continue to disagree on certain things or one is worried about what the other person's person is doing while you're sitting there worrying and this could be Aquarius or cross watchers who are constantly worried, and this is what I mean by codependency. Codependency don't always have to be alcohol and drugs or whatever. It can also mean how you are persistent on where your person is constantly. If you do not trust, then you know you shouldn't be there. If you do not trust that person, you gotta always antagonize them for being where they are or always worrying about where they at. You shouldn't be with them. You shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you um, if you feel it. I always say, if you feel something and you feel like it is your person, this is something that you can work on, then do that. But it takes two people. It takes two people to work on it. All right, let's 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 get some clarifications. <clears throat> and what they call this, the lovers month. It takes two. All right, six of swords in reverse. I feel either one of you Aquarius are up at night, and I and it's sort of for it to be it to be the clarification for codependency. You're wondering what is it that's keeping you up at night? Excessive drinking and excessive smoking, excessive excessive use of different things to cope. You know. And uh, and it don't like I said doesn't have to be substance abuse. It could also be your thoughts at night that's keeping you up at night, flowing constantly, constantly in thought of what can happen. <laughs> All right. Seven of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And Four of Cups in reverse. I know, like, people say, oh, I don't read, um, you, you know, Universals, uh, reverse, you know, but it, 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 what I'm feeling is though you guys are still stuck in this stagnant feeling of where you guys are going to 
come to a conclusion that you guys need space from one another because nobody is willing to do the work. No one is willing to do the work. Okay? And things are not aligning in either one of your favors because, however, like I said, no one is willing to do the work. And both have to, both parties have to be willing to do the work if they want it. It's like you guys are st standing and, and, and with a title with nothing to flourish that title. So what is it really there for? You guys have to put into the work and it takes two. Okay? Where you see one is putting the effort to make things work, the other one isn't. Okay? And the universe, the universe loves a stubborn heart. Okay? If the universe sees that this is worth saving, it will give you that nudge, Aquarius. It will give you that nudge. It will give you, it will give you, how you say that, uh, um, a little boost to say, all right, if I give you this amount of, um, like, it give you this sense of direction for you to take, what are you going to also do to make sure that result stays solid that foundation keeps on growing if you're constantly if you guys if you guys are constantly arguing and one and, and you guys are not trying to see eye to eye it's it seems pointless it really do because no one wants to budge no one wants to make a difference and and then both of you guys are literally up at, up out um up at night literally Why do it to you to yourself when there's a chance for you guys to love on um one another properly the right way with a little bit of passion but nobody's willing to make that effort cuz both parties still wants to have that control of oh whatever I feel I feel and this is how it is supposed to be while the other one's saying the same thing. So then you know what's going to happen at the end is it's going to be stagnant to a point where this no longer is for you anymore. So it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. And then, like I said before, it takes two. Okay. It takes two. <sighs> Aquarius. I mean, happy birthday. If it is your season. It's your season, so you know it's up to you guys to make it to make it happen. And you don't need a person to make you happy. You don't. You gotta find happiness within yourself in order to bring joy into a, a bond or a relationship or anything. If you're if you're not happy, if you don't know what it is to be happy, this is what also means by codependency. That because you and your person is not seeing eye to eye, that means I'm gonna walk around moping. Or the other person is going to walk around moping. Why? Because you feel as though that person that you are with, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. So I cannot be smiling right now because that's my source of happiness. No, your source of happiness is within you. If you can't find that, nobody else can find that for you. Then it'll just become an illusion. And you know what happens with illusions. They become and they fade. And when they fade, what happens? You get depressed. You get down. And now, then you start um, blaming your person for you not being happy. When you're responsible for your happiness, let's talk about it. And for the, you know, for the overall energy and advice from the universe... Most of y'all guys are still stuck on pride. What I said before earlier, what is all about religious factors that w of of up of, of, of upbringing, um, how you guys were raised, how you guys thought that relationships should be. You know, like I'm gonna stand on what I feel, and I'm gonna stand on what I feel. But then neither one of y'all guys are compromising at all to make the relationship work. Don't let pride get in your way. You guys may be dealing with a Leo, a fire sign, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay? Don't let pride get into your, to, to, to the equation of, of this evolving and growing. I feel like you guys are both 
both are um, hard headed. It says meditate and contemplate. Figure out where you guys went wrong and what you guys can do to solve it. And you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay? You guys have to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Put passion into this if you guys want it. But like I said, and I will continue saying it, it takes two, not just one. Period. So that's all I have for you, um, Aquarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for those who have subscribed and those who will subscribe. If this resonates, awesome. If it doesn't, continue to watch when I upload my next um, reading. Till next time, Aquarius, happy birthday. Namaste. Peace.